To remove the flipper assembly from your P3 to adjust the outline positions or to change one of the rubbers, first you want to take your lock bar off and remove the glass, which has already been done in this game. And then we want to turn the game off. We want to lift it up into our service position. And to do that, we're going to take two hands on the apron. We're going to lift straight up. This game is a little bit heavier than traditional games. We're going to pull it out until it gets to the apex. We're going to gently set it down. And this brings the game into our service position. Then to remove the flipper assembly, we're going to open the front door. There are two buttons on the top. We're going to press those down with our thumb and pull the front door off. This gives us access to our flipper assembly. We have to disconnect the power first before we remove it. So there is a connector in here. And this connector can have a little bit of extra friction on it the first few times you remove it. Pull straight outwards and then you can take it directly to your workbench. To make any adjustments or to clean the components, or if you need to replace a flipper or a swing shot rubber, it's just this simple. You don't have to work over your game, you can work at your workbench. There's nothing wrong with this particular flipper set, and it's clean, so I'm going to install it back in the game. To do that, with the front door open, simply slide it in this top slot, right here. It'll push all the way in. Whenever it's fully seated, we'll reconnect our 15-pin connector. We'll close the front door. And then to put the play field back in the game, we're going to with two hands on the apron again. We're going to lift straight up. We're going to push back just a little bit. And at this point, gravity will naturally pull it back in. It's going to assist it by taking some weight off. And whenever the game is back in, we get powered up. And we're ready to play.